Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good week. Mine has been nice, I have to say. It's, you know, I've, I've done quite a bit in the house. Uh, just, you know, basic household chores. I was saying to one of my friends, we were chatting on Tuesday. I think I'd forgotten how much it takes to kind of run a home um, because I'm not, I haven't been used to doing it for a while. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it is, it's very tiring. So, you know, it's, but I'm glad to be able to do it. I'm glad that I'm, you know, helping mum and dad in this way. It's, it's really nice to, you know, do this and I am enjoying it. I mean, it's like one thing I fell down on this week is I didn't meal plan, didn't meal plan the whole, or meal plan the whole week. And that was not not good that was not a good idea but definitely something sunday i'm sitting down and i'm going to work out what we're doing for next week because it makes my life a lot easier um i know right okay this today i need to do x y z so yeah but no i thought we done i made bread this week I made two loaves of bread i made a new cake so that was nice um i hopefully this weekend fingers crossed i can get a sourdough starter done which would be really nice i've wanted to try and make sourdough for a while just haven't done it um so hopefully this week i'm gonna gonna make that happen so yeah reading wise it's been a good week um one two three i finished three books no four books and i've started another so that's not bad so last weekend i said i was going to finish Merrily Ever After. I actually finished that on, this on Friday night and really enjoyed it, gave it a 4 out of 5. So this is the sequel to, oh my goodness, The Merry Christmas Project. And it's probably best if you read it first before you read this one because it's just a continuation. So we catch up with Mary, Mary again, who is still running her candle shop and it is absolutely booming. And she really needs to take on new work, but at the moment she's so busy she can't think of that. She is also planning her wedding to Cole and trying to work out, you know, she's going to become a stepmom to his kids. How does she work into that family network? Um, what does his ex-wife think of this? And so she's got all of that going on. Um, so that's kind of, you have, you have that story of Mary, but you also have the story of a lady called Emily who works as a secretary at the school that Cole's son attends. And her father has dementia and it's getting to the stage where he can't live on his own and she really doesn't know what to do but she's given the name of this assisted living facility and she goes to visit it and they have a place available so her father goes in there and while she is clearing out you know his flat so that he can take things to the, the assisted living facility she comes across this tin and she finds a picture of her father with a baby and at first she thinks it's her and him but her mum goes no that's not our flat so it's like who is this who is this baby and she finds out and it's her finding out her family and somebody else finding their fa family they didn't think they had and it was really, really lovely. I really liked the way that the stories combined and every, you know, and that, you know, it was just beautiful. And I really, really liked this. I would hope that Kathy Bramley is going to write Emily's story so we get a continuation on of that. I think that would be really, really nice. So, yes, yeah, so I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I then picked picked up my Kindle, A Slice of Heaven by Cheryl Woods. This is book number two in the Sweet Magnolia series. I gave this one four out of five. I really enjoyed this one. I will give a trigger now to anybody. Um, eating disorder and spousal cheating. So... We pick up with the three ladies that we met in the first series and on the first book. And 
Diana Sue is really worried about her daughter who seems to be getting thinner and thinner and is not really eating. And at the end of the first book, she had collapsed at a wedding. And they thought they had things back under control, but they don't. To the point that she ends up running an intervention in that she invite that she gets her daughter Abby to invite some of her friends home for a sleepover and she puts food out etc and she checks with one of the girls and the girl just like shakes her head to show that she hasn't eaten anything but they have um and the girl ends up having a heart attack that night and she ends up in hospital and a lot of the story is her rehabilitation and what it means for her mother her mother also phones her husband who has who moved away from the the town and he comes back and he realizes that you know he made a mistake and he wants his wife and daughter back so you have this going on and the girl and them trying to you know and do what the medical people are telling them to do with their daughter and the daughter going no and it's it really was eye-opening and the more you read the more i read it the more i could see yeah i can see why you know you could see why the girl had was in the situation of anorexia that she was in um and i was chatting to a friend and went tuesday night and it was like we we're both talk i was we we're talking about the book and i was saying you know i could see how easily even i could slip into that in that you know I look at I think it's a lot to, it's, it's very much body image and what you see in the papers etc etc and even at kind of my age you still feel that pressure and you kind of look at yourself as you were say 10 years ago and you look at yourself now and you're like mm -mm. you know you you don't maybe see, you don't maybe like what you see and i could see very easily for me it would be very easy to to slide into a, i'm not going to eat that much you know I, I need to lose weight sort of thing and that is actually scary so if it's scary for somebody of my age what must it be like for a teenager or younger if they're thinking that you know, and it really does start a conversation, this book. Um, I, as I say, I really enjoyed it. I really liked the way that the situations were dealt with and how you saw the psychology behind the reasons for the anorexia and everything else. I thought it was really, really well written. And I am definitely, I'm definitely going to read the next one because I want to know what happens. Um, so yes, so that was that. I then picked up Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. This is the second book in the Legendborn cycle. Um, this picks up basically from where Legendborn started or finished. So Nick is missing, Brie is coming to terms with that she is the Sion of King Arthur and what that means for her, what that means for the rest of the Legendborns um, and she also has, she still hasn't found herself, she still doesn't know who she is because she's got two parts to her, you know, of, at the moment that, that the book is focusing on, her Legendborn part plus her root crafter part and she doesn't have control of either of them and she doesn't really know about either of them and various things happen that she ends up having to go on the run with William 
Sel, Selwyn and her friend Alice and it's why they're on the run, the people they meet and the decisions that they have to make. And I have to say, I actually felt sorry for Brie. I think she's being used in a lot of fronts by a lot of people. And yeah, that's kind of all I want to say. I, you know, is I don't really want to talk much about it because it would spoil if I told you what what was happening. It would spoil the first book. I gave this one three and a half out of five. I enjoyed it. Will I read? I think there's supposed to be a third one. Will I read it? Probably I will because I probably want to see where this finishes. Um, it's not a series at the moment I'm raving about. Um, I know a lot of people love it. I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah, that's kind of all I'm saying. I then picked up Christmas at Cedarwood Lodge by Rebecca Raisin. I am on chapter 17, so I've got that to read. I'll get this finished this weekend. Um, really quite enjoying this actually, to do with a girl who has come back to um, her hometown and has rebought, has bought Cedarwood Lodge, and is redoing it, is like renovating it to make it into like an events place for weddings, birthday parties, etc. Um, it's the people that she meets that are coming, that are working for her. What's happening? So it is really really nice i am really enjoying that so this is on my reading list for this week or this weekend and then yesterday or not yesterday thursday i started and finished murder is a piece of cake by valerie burns um this is the second in this new series the bakery series that she's cozy mystery series she's writing i gave it five out of five i am not going to say much else about it because I'm using it for my book and a bake episode for June. So you will have to wait till June to find out what it was all about, but it was really, really good. So kind of, as I say, the weekend I'll be reading the, the Cedarwood Lodge book. Um, if I get it finished, I don't really know. Oh, I know what I will be picking up. Hold on. Two shakes. I can let, I'll let you see my rocking chair just now. Um, yes, the other book I'll be picking up this weekend is Keeper of the Lost Cities Ever Blaze, Blaze by Shannon, Shannon Messenger. This is the third book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series. Um, I'm buddy reading this with Beth from Soul Stained Ink. This is our other buddy read for Middle Grade, Middle Grade Mayhem. So that's what I'll be picking up as well this weekend. So that's kind of what I'm reading. What else am I doing this weekend? Well, I'm going out with my other half this afternoon for coffee, so that was really nice. I was out for lunch with another friend yesterday, which was really lovely. Um, so that was good. Tonight we've got Glasgow v Toulon in the European Challenge Cup final, so I'm really looking forward to this. Go Warriors! And then tomorrow afternoon we have Leinster v La Rochelle in the Champions Cup final, so go Leinster! Um, so yeah, so that's going to be really nice. Uh, the weather is lovely today actually, it's sunny. So at the moment I have a washing on um, and I'm going to get it out and I will probably put another load on get that out as well. Uh, what else am I going to do this weekend? I don't know that I'll do much else. I'll maybe try and... Uh, I can hear you all shouting at me, meal plan. Yeah, meal plan. <laughs> um, do that and just rest. You know, I think uh, I, I'm... It's been, although it's been like doing home stuff, it's still been tiring. So I think try and rest for a bit as well this weekend. But that's kind of, that's been it for my reading this week. I'm really pleased actually with the amount of, with the reading I've done. Um, and yes, they were, you know, they were fairly, they were, they were good books. So that was good. It was like nice that there are fours, fives and three, three and a half is still a, a good read. So yeah, happy with that. Um, but please let me know down in the comments have you read any of the books I've mentioned? What did you think of them? Um, if I'm if I'm reading them or I'm about to read them, please don't give me any spoilers. But if you want to chat about the others, then great, be happy to do so. What have you been doing this weekend? Or what have you or this week? And what have you got planned this weekend? I would love to know what are you reading this weekend. It'd even be even nicer to know. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
as you're going down to the comments please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell both will tell you when i'm putting out a new video and help my channel to grow which is great i know i've got some new subscribers so hello thank you for stopping by and i hope that you will continue to enjoy my content but until my next video friends stay safe happy reading bye